Hello, my friends, and welcome to another lesson on the large bead frame. This one's going to be about multiplication, and this is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, make sure you've got your bead frame and your bead frame paper. Let's just go through those categories one more time. Units, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, and... Uh, yeah, the millions are hiding down off the screen, but that's all right. Our number is going to be a little bit smaller for this one, but you're welcome to explore all the way up to the millions if you like. Now we've covered addition, we've covered subtraction, and we've done lots of exchanging, and you want to know how do we use this beautiful large bead frame to do multiplication? Well, if you've got your paper, your bead frame, and a pencil, then you're probably ready to go. So let's go ahead and think of a number. And for this one, we're just going to do a four digit number. Ooh, how about 4,235? And I'm going to write each of those numbers right in the right category 4,235. And now I'm going to multiply it by three. So I put my multiplication symbol in there, and I put my 3 in there, right on the units line. Now I'm going to take my ruler, my straight edge, and give a nice line underneath. And now, before we actually start this, I'd love to teach you something else that might help you out. And this is called decomposition. And I'm not talking about zombies and eating brains. That's, that's a different kind of decomposition. I'm talking about decomposing this number into its parts. All right, this is 4,235 times 3. That's a lot to think about. But what if we could think about each of those categories separately? I'm going to come over to the other side of my paper here and use it for something else this time. Um, I'm going to write each of these numbers in the same place on the other side of the paper, but on its own separate line. So I'll take my five for my units and put it on the units wire, right where it would go if I was rewriting it over here. I'm gonna skip down to the next line and write my three. And then to the next line and write my 200 and my 4,000. And now you can see I've got this groovy number going up like a stepladder on this side but I'm going to add in all the zeros next so that those look a little bit more like they're separate parts. The five, the three tens or 30, the two hundreds or 200, and the four thousands or 4,000. There is my number decomposed. And the last thing I'm going to do is create some kind of mystical, magical carrot over here and write multiplied by three because that is what we're going to do. We're going to take five three times, we're going to take 33 times, 203 times, and 4,003 times, and it's, it's going to be totally easy. It's going to be great. Okay, let's begin. The first thing I'm doing is five three times. Now, you really need to remember your power of, of uh, exchanging. Remember, when you fill up a wire with 10, you can easily exchange it for one of the next wire. 10 units are equal to 10, 10 tens are equal to a hundred, almost took 200 there, 10 hundreds are equal to a thousand and so on, and I can't really exchange the millions, remember, because they're hiding off the screen. So, five units taken three times. Now I could use my math facts easily to do this, and I, I sort of know that it's 15, but if you're starting at the early stages, I would ask that you count these out. Either make sure you're doing one, two, three, four, five, taken once. One, two, three, four, five, taken twice. There's the exchange. And one, two, three, four, five, taken three times. And I can also take that by groups. If I'm pretty good, uh, I can take that whole group of five, the next whole group of five, exchange, and then take that last group of five. It, either of those three methods, you'll end up with the same answer. But some of those methods, you may need stronger math facts to make sure you have an accurate answer. And I do have part of my answer now. I have the units category. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down. Just the five, because that 10, just like with addition, um, exchanging up, are not going to count that. It's not part of the original 
number. It's not something that we're going to um, include in what we're putting on there. We're going to put more over it, and that is going to be 3 times 3 over that. So 1, 2, 3 taken once, 1, 2, 3 taken twice, 1, 2, 3 taken 3 times for a moment. You can see all three groups of 3 until they're compounded and exchanged for that 100. Look at that! We ended up with a big zero. How fantastic is that? I'm going to put that down on my paper. And now I'm going to move to my hundreds. I have two taken three times. There's a group of two, a second group of two, a third group of two, and together one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Fantastic. Now I'm going to take my very last wire. I need four three times. One, two, three, four taken once. One, two, three, four taken twice. And uh oh, I'm going to have to exchange. I've got to think about this for a second. I know I've got my two groups of four. I need a third group of four. There's only two there. I can even make a note that I need two more after I exchange, or I can do that other method. One, two, three, and four. Either way, I'm going to end up with that answer, and now I'm going to write all of the remaining numbers down because there's nothing else to multiply. There's the two thousands and the one ten thousand. If I had 4,235 puppies and put them into a triple cloning machine, I would end up with 12,705 puppies. That's plenty for all of you to take home with you and snuggle with tonight. Well, I hope you really enjoyed this exploration of multiplication on the bead frame. Now, this is short multiplication. It only has one digit in the multiplier. If you get two or more, that's long multiplication. And that's a different video. If you're feeling ready for that, please go ahead and check it out if it's up. And have fun with that fantastic large bead frame.